Good morning, everyone. This is Bremster, and today I'm coming to you with a puzzle called Countdown by Cal. Um, and Cal in the submission email said that this is one of the first puzzles that they have um, actually been prepared to share with someone. So very, very cool that they were prepared to send it to me. Apparently they put it into um, the testing channel and a few people said that they should send it through. So thank you to everyone who suggested to send it to me. And um, I'm looking forward to having a look at this one. Uh, this is a rule set I've not seen before. So I'm kind of looking forward to I, I just want to get into the puzzle, so I'm going to do that. So, yeah, uh, other stuff, doesn't matter. Let's have a look at the puzzle. So, Countdown by Cal. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So, in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. I have an example here. That's very useful. Um, and then we've got a rule called um, that Cal is calling modular adjacent cells, which is orthogonally adjacent digits may not have the same value modulo 3. If I saw that, my head would explode. What that basically means is no two digits can exist. Um, no two digits from the set 147 may be adjacent and the same from 258 and 369. Why those digits? If you divide those digits by three, the modulo is what is left over. So if you divide one by three, the remainder is one because you have zero with one remainder. Four divided by three is one with one remainder and seven is two with one remainder. And the same is the one remainder with one, four, seven, two remainder with two, five, eight and zero remainder with three, six, nine. If the hint for this is if you look at your numeric keypad or the, the keypad on Sudoku pad, then they're the vertical banding. So one, four, seven, two, five, eight, three, six, nine. That's the sets you're working with. And no two of those digits may be adjacent. That's what we've got. So I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. And I'm going to color. So I color one fours and sevens as blue. And I've got a lot of them. So that's just the way I do it. I go uh, blue, green, yellow, um, left, middle, right. So I know that two, five, and eight, I'm looking at my numeric keypad, have to be green and three, six, and nine have to be yellow. And I cannot put a blue next to a blue. So for example, where is the four in this, in this box? So I can't put four there and I can't put the four next to the seven because then I'd have blues next to each other. So that becomes the four and that becomes blue. That means four in this box is in one of these two. No, I've already got four in this box. Four in this box is in one of these two. One in this box is in one of those, but it can't be there. That's probably not it. This can't be... Okay, so I've got all the blues. This can't be blue and it can't be yellow because yellow would be next to each other. So this is green. Now, if this was yellow, where would I put the... So this is five or eight. But if this was yellow, where would I put the other two yellow? The other yellow? Because I need to put two yellows in this box. If this is yellow, I couldn't put yellow in either of those and I'd be problem. So this is green and these are both yellow. This is five, eight, and these are six and nine. And the nine here means that this is the six and this is the nine. The eight here means this is five and this is eight. We're making some progress. So I need to put one in this column. I can't put it in either of those cells because one is blue and I can't put blue next to blue. Can't put one in either of those because there's already a one in the box. So one is in one of those two. Four has to be in one of these two. And seven in this box is in one of those. That's probably not it. Seven is in one of those two. Probably looking at the wrong thing. I think blue is the key to this puzzle. So these are a green, a blue, and a yellow. So there's a blue down here, which is a seven. There's a green, which is, there's a seven in one of those two. So there's a nine in one of these two. Uh, so this can't, oh, this can't, right, this can't be, right, just look at this simpler. This can't be green or blue, because if this was green or blue, um, it'd be next to a green or a blue. I need to start thinking across boxes. This can't now be yellow or blue, so this is green. 
here we go. This can't be green or, or yellow, or they'd be adjacent. So this is blue. This now can't be blue or yellow. This is green. Needed to sort this out first. Though. This can't be green or blue. So this is yellow. This can't be yellow or green. So this is blue. So these are, this is not nine anymore because um, it's blue. So this is the nine. This is the three. These are one and seven, but this can't be the seven. So this is the one. This is the seven. This is not the seven. These are two and eight and the eight here makes this the two and this is the eight this is the trick i needed to find this can't be yellow or this can't be green or blue so it's yellow this can't be and, and it's it's therefore three this now has to be blue um, and it's one or four and it's not four so it's one this now the digit that is left is five which we know is green which works because it would be next to those. This has to be green. The last green digit is two. These are one, two, three. Well, this has to be yellow because it's next to blue and green. I'm just going to be repeating this. So this is the six, this is the four, and we know that the four is blue. This is next to blue and yellow, so it's green. Uh, this is next to green and blue, so it's yellow. I'm just going to end up repeating this a lot, aren't I? This is next to yellow and blue, so it's green. This is next to blue and green, so it's yellow. This is next to yellow and green, so it's blue. This is next to blue and yellow, so it's green. And this is next to green and blue, so it's yellow. So this is the one. These being green are two, five, and eight. This is not two. This is not five. This is not eight. These are three, six, and nine. That one is not three. That one is not six. And that one is not nine. Okay. Now, this has to be yellow because it's next to green and blue. So this becomes yellow. This is now next to blue and yellow. So it's green. This is next to green and blue. So it's yellow. So these are three, six, nine. There is no three there. There is no nine there. This is from two, five, eight, and it's not from eight. And this is the final green, which is two, five, eight, and it's not two. So this is five or eight. This is now blue and next to blue and green, so it becomes yellow, and it's a three nine. This is now green because it's next to blue and yellow. This is I'm just going to stop saying why. This is now blue. This is now blue, and it sees four and seven, so it is one. This is now yellow, um, and it sees nine, so it's three six. This is now green. And it sees five and eight, so it's two, which means this is the five, this is the eight, this is the two. And my keyboard cord, for some strange reason, has decided to move and get in the way of absolutely everything. Um, so, um, this is now green. Um, so this is from five, eight, and it's not two, or it's two, five, eight, and it's not two or eight. So this is the five, this is the eight. Um, the two here, of course, made this five. Uh, this is now blue, and it's not one or four, so it's seven. This is now yellow, and it's not, this is three, so this is six, and this is nine. This is really cool. This is a blue seven. Uh, the six makes this nine, which makes this three, and makes this six. This is six. Once you understand what this is doing, it's really cool. This is yellow. Um, so it's from three, six, nine. That's not three or six. So it's nine. This is now green. Um, two, five, eight. This, I'm not sure yet, but I'll get there. This is yellow. Um, so it's from three, six, nine, and it's not three or nine. So that is a six. This is now green. So it's two, five, eight, and it's not two or eight. So that is five. So this is not two or five. So that is eight. Um, where to look? This is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two or four. So this four makes this two and this four. We know two is green and four is blue. This now has to be yellow. So it's the three. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a seven, which of course makes it blue, which works. Um, this sees a blue and a green, so it is yellow. That makes it three because I've already got the six, nine. This column is just missing an eight, I think, which would be the last green. 
this is also green. It's not eight. This is a two because it sees a five and an eight. The three, of course, makes this nine. This has to be yellow because it sees a green and a blue. This is a six or a nine. That's not a six, so that's a nine. This has to be the green. The green I'm missing is five. This has to be yellow, which makes it the six. Uh, this has to be blue, um, one, four, this is the seven, uh, this is now green, and it sees two and eight, so it's five, this is now yellow, which means it is not four, because it has to be three or six, and it's not three, so it's six, this is the four, which makes that the blue, um, this now has to be the one, because I've run out of no, yeah, because if this was the one, the blues would be next to each other. This is now green, and this is now yellow. So this is the three, and this is the two. Um, doo -doo, this is blue, so this is one or four, and it's not one, so it's four. This column is just missing. It's a green, and it looks like it's a green two. Uh, these are one, two, three. So this will be a three, which we know is yellow. That means this will be a blue one, and that is the solution to the puzzle. I was told the person who te people who tested this took about 20 minutes. Maybe I, st and those people are stunning at modular. Maybe I stumbled onto this, the trick on this one a little bit faster. Happy present day. Um, you get a real coffee break puzzle today. Um, but I really like that one. I hadn't seen that trick before and I really, really like it. And there's no obvious banding on the puzzle, but that was stunning fun. I, once I got it, it was just, okay, they, they're just almost writing in digits, but that's okay. That, that was fun. I really enjoyed that one. Um, yeah. Thank you, Cal. Um, if you keep doing puzzles like this, then I hope you keep sending them in. I really enjoyed getting that one. Um, yeah, that was very, very cool. And, uh, I, I see why people who did this one in testing. Yeah. Not a hard puzzle. Not all puzzles have to be hard. Uh, I've had a couple of hard ones on the channel recently. Um, thank you, Doomjot. <laughs> um, and yeah, this was really, really cool. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.